Hey guys, John Hines here. Thanks for watching my video. Um, and watching the counseling session videos, I've found them to be similar to what I imagined counseling sessions to be. Um, though each counselor had a different approach, I thought they each possessed qualities that I would want a counselor to have if I were a client. Um, they were both very professional and attentive, and you could tell that each of them was really listening to what their clients were saying. And to me, that is one of the most, if not the most important characteristic of a counselor is to be able to um, listen to your clients and, and more importantly for them to know and, uh, and beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are listening, really listening to what they have to say. Um, it was very clear that each of these counselors was utilizing solid listening and attending skills. Um, so to talk briefly about each session and how they were both similar and how they were different. Uh, so how they were similar is that each counselor uh, was very attentive and used skills from the Egan model. Um, the counselors appeared to use the solar posturing skills, um, which is um, sitting squarely, having open posture, leaning in, keeping eye contact, and presenting an overall relaxed demeanor. Uh, now the book did say that um, the part of the relaxed demeanor was arms down by the side. Um, in a lot of cases, both of these guys kind of, counselors kind of had their arms crossed or not by their side, but their overall um, appearance was extremely relaxed. And um, um, it would set me at ease, I know, if I was a client because um, their demeanor was so relaxed. Um, they also each established what was going on with their clients, um, what the, their clients' desired outcomes were, and how they planned to achieve those desired outcomes. Um, each of them first asked questions to establish what was going on, and then they ended with an appropriate summarization of the session. Um, how their approaches were different, um, we'll first talk about Wayne. Um, Wayne used paraphrasing and open-ended statement skills. Um, he would allow Stephanie to speak freely on what was on her mind, and then he would respond with a question like, so what I'm hearing is, tell me a little bit more about how it has been for you. Um, his responses to her responses um, were often limited to an mm-hmm or a head nod. Um, Wayne seemed to work in the core counseling skills for his session. Um, what to me, what it seemed, what my impression was that Dr. Tackax, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but the doctor in the second video demonstrated more advanced counseling skills in his session. Um, his client, Mariah, he would ask her open questions, not just say open statements, um, and then he would utilize advanced skills to respond to her and work through the answers that she came up with um, and try to come up with solutions. Um, he utilized the reflection of feeling skill to address Mariah's feelings of not wanting to be alone. Um, then he used the more advanced skill of challenge and confrontation to address Mariah's contradictory relationship with her current partner. Um, he then walked Mariah through some goal setting for things to do prior to the next session, which he rolled into his summarization. Um, so both each each counselor distinctly different and also the, very similar in a lot of approach. Um, for me, um, Dr. Tackax was a better fit. I found his approach to be more interactive and challenging, whereas Wayne was more or less uh, just listening to his client without providing very in-depth feedback. I feel like I would have a better outcome with Dr. Takak's approach. Um, so both of these sessions were very low-key and didn't really include anything that I would consider to be a difficult subject, you know, like, for example, sexual trauma, death of a loved one, or a client, or just, you know, a client who's um, actively in some emotional distress. These were kind of very sterile and benign sort of counseling sessions. And um, so my question that I would ask an experienced counselor um, professional or an experienced counseling professional would be, um, 
what is your advice for an aspiring counselor when it comes to managing the experience shared by clients who have been or are going through something that's extremely difficult? Um, that would be my question. So thanks again for watching and God bless.